What's up, everybody? Um, I drank the OE earlier. Forgot to record it. I woke up and just downed it and didn't record it. So sorry, but I'll have I have more 40s to record. Um, just a quick update. The second half of the malt hall will be coming up um, shortly. Come have a Mickey's with me. Hey, it's perfectly right. Come have a fucking Mickey's with me. Shout out to all my subscribers. Uh, YTDC. Having some lunch. A little overstuffed tuna with some, uh, queso sauce. Delicious. I know that sounds like a weird combination, but it's actually pretty good. Delicious malt liquor. <clears throat> Why not? I've already had that one. I think it's like, I think outside the box. Those piss me off every once in a while. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm decent at them. I can usually decipher them at some point, but when I start getting drunk, they just make me fucking pissed. I watched a documentary, a YouTube documentary on a 9-11. 9-11, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I think it was called Inside the Twin Towers. It was a BBC documentary. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, you know, they made it back in 06, I think is what it said. But it's a lot of information in it and... Sad to watch, but it's good to reflect sometimes and just, you know, see firsthand. No, you, you can't see firsthand, but just try to witness what, you know, those people went through. Sad day in American history, but rest in peace. I mean, you really have to think about how bad that must have been if people were jumping from a hundred and over a hundred plus stories jumping to their fate um it, it had to have just been a feeling of hopeless
hopelessness, like complete hopelessness. I don't know, it was just eye-opening just to, you know, just see some of the shit that was on that documentary. And it was like an hour and a half documentary. I've never stayed, had not you know, kept, been entertained enough, not, you know, not entertaining, I don't know how to word it, but I've never been into a documentary on YouTube as much as I was with that one, and I watched the whole thing, and it was good, um, good narrative, uh, voice in the background, good, uh, visuals throughout it, it was, uh, it was interesting, and, uh, sad, I mean, some of it's hard to watch, but it was, uh, very good documentary, so check it out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I was just browsing through shit and saw that, so. On this next haul, probably gonna spend... Maybe like thirty-five bucks. Um, get some more forties. Uh, pick up. Might pick up a cheap thirty-pack. Maybe some like Red Dog or something just to have on the side. But then the other twenty will be spent on malt liquor. So that'll be a decent pickup. Um, shout out to the YTDC. All my subscribers, thank you. Keep drinking malt liquor, bad beer, and whatever the fuck you want to drink. Who cares what you drink? Just cam up and drink it. I'll watch it. Mickey's fine malt liquor. Good malt liquor. Um, like I said before this video, I had that 40 of Old English and another hams. Just wanted to drink a beer when I woke up. Um, but I'm excited to see what I bring home with this next little haul. Um, should be interesting so shout out everybody keep making your fucking videos keep commenting and liking and if you haven't subscribed subscribe there will be another malt hall tonight um if anybody has a request video, wants to see anything, let me know. Ron Ronald, I might pick up a 40 of some Mickeys just to do a video. So check that out. Um, <laughs> the Weasel, I got a St. Ides. I'll probably do a video of that too uh, at some point this weekend. That, that gives me a hell of a buzz, that 40 though. <laughs> for a little bit so cheers everybody have a nice day it's actually started to get nice out it was thunderstorming so at the swill 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 mickey's grenade fine malt liquor drink it Mickey's fine malt liquor. Like, comment, subscribe. See you with the second part of the malt haul.